Hi guys, it's that time. It's our Bible teaching snippet of the day. You'll notice right off that I am not inside the house. I'm outside on my back patio recording this snippet. It is absolutely beautiful out here. Uh, the fall weather in Tennessee is gorgeous. It's just awesome. The colors are beautiful. The weather, it's breezy and cool outside. So, today I was having lunch with Angela my sister-in-law and we got to talking about something and I said you know what that's going to be my snippet today so my snippet today is is Jesus really enough now I know that for you who are out there that are believers that are born again that your first answer to that is oh yeah absolutely but did you know I have people say that but they disprove that that's what they believe in their heart let me give you an example Many people will say, yeah, oh yeah, Jesus is everything, but I have to go to church on Sunday. Well, I've heard teenagers say, well, I have to clean my room or mother won't let me go out with my girlfriends. So what that sounds like to me is there is a bartering going on here that if you'll do something, then I'll do something. And a lot of times we think that we're in a bartering relationship with God, that if we do our part, then God will do his part. Did you know that is not the relationship that we have with God? Jesus did everything and the agreement actually is between Jesus and God the Father, not between us and God. That's a different teaching, and I'm going to make a note of that, and I'm going to teach on that next. But tonight, I want to keep talking about, is Jesus really enough? Because this is so important. I'll hear people, and let me say this about going to church. You get to go to church. If you don't want to go to church, then you shouldn't go to church. But you get to go to church and be around like-minded people who love Jesus. The next thing, I want to talk about this too. I'll hear people say, well, you know, I get I, Jesus is everything, but I have to tithe. I've actually heard ministers get behind the pulpit and actually say things like, well, if you don't tithe, God will get his money some way. You might be sick. You may have car trouble. You know, your washer and dryer may break down. But something, God will get his money. God's going to get his 10%. Did you know that offends me? Yeah, and if you're a pastor and you heard me say that, you know, you can go ahead and, in fact, you can tell your pastor that that offends uh, the Bible teacher on Facebook when they make comments like that because what they've done is they've accused my father of being the godfather in the movie Godfather in the Mafia. He's going to bust your door down and make you give him something that you owe him. And we are not in a bartering relationship with our father. Jesus settled everything. And I pray that you will receive this message today. You have no idea how freeing it is to know that Jesus really was enough. Jesus is enough. Jesus was enough for my father and Jesus was enough for me. He has settled the account. Jesus was either 100% everything that we needed, or we're in a lot of trouble here. Jesus plus everything that you do is a big fat zero. Jesus plus nothing is everything. Now, I've told you before that I have to prove the things that I say through Scripture. I could take two hours and do nothing but read you scripture that says that Jesus and what he did was enough. But today, I'm going to use one scripture, and it is in Romans chapter 5, and it's verse 10. And it says, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, Jesus. Much more being reconciled, shall we be saved by his life? And not only so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Did you know Jesus reconciled us to God? So you doing things to make God happy is not what made God happy. 
There's nothing mankind could do to make God happy. It took Jesus to take care of that problem. And we need to walk in that and just believe, believe that Jesus is enough. I pray that you will receive this message and you will walk. Jesus paid a huge price for all of us to walk in freedom and in peace and not to live under condemnation. And when we believe that there are things that we have to do to maintain and keep God from being mad at us, that's when we put ourselves under condemnation and we don't walk in the peace that Jesus paid such a dear price for us to have. Well, God bless you, Facebook, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.